<laughs> this September, you can do it. Their greatest gift. I think I have a problem. You need a friend too? Just may be. I love you. The gift of giving. America's most inspiring series returns. It's always sunny in Philadelphia, September on FX. Well, it, it might be a while before we actually air this episode, because it might end up being our season finale, but we're doing a big high school reunion episode. And it's going to be very satisfying for the people who know the show really, really well, because a lot of characters that you've met before that we went to high school with, and a lot of characters that we've talked about but you've never met, will be in that episode, one of whom is the character of Tim Murphy, who legendarily slept with my prom date our senior year. So I've got a pretty epic episode, two-part episode, coming up with that one where I um, try to exact my revenge upon Tim Murphy. M Tim Murphy, yeah. So that should be a good one. And uh, the other thing is you guys, uh, within the show, tend to merchandise some great things. Any new merchandising we're looking for this year? It's funny, you, you know, we never, ever, ever set out to, to be the kind of show that like merchandise stuff, but it just so happens that our characters are so insane and our characters are always dressing up and they always have ridiculous things around and props and shirts and things like that. So it just ended up being the kind of thing, and because it takes place in a bar, it just lends itself really well to like merchandising stuff, none of which we have anything to do with. Uh, of course, that's well, all I mean, FX. With Mac alone just wearing his shirt sometimes, you ever thought, you know what, I'm going to make a shirt and wear it and see if 10,000 people will buy it. Yeah, it turns out they will. It turns out they will. But that's your fans. DVD sales are going insane. I mean, yeah. uh, do you guys look forward to like DVD release as much as regular, you know, regular release when things come out? As yeah, well? absolutely. Of course. I mean, I think uh, we try to make a show that has as much rewatch value as we possibly can. It's the kind of show that, I mean... Over the years, I think one of the reasons it took so long to really catch on and become a big show was because I think a lot of people didn't get it at first. And then they went back and watched it because their friends said they loved it or whatever. And then they were like, oh, okay, now I get it. So we try to create a show that, I mean, a lot of the stuff that I've loved over the years is not always the thing that you catch on to right away. It kind of takes a second, you know? First time I saw Kids in the Hall, I didn't get it. I was like, I don't understand this, you know? And then the more I watched of it, the more I realized how genius it was. Um, not saying our show is genius, it is. Uh, but, you know, I, sometimes it takes two or three or four times watching it uh, to get it. So run out and buy those DVDs. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, squishing your head. I did that. Squishing your head is equal to uh, kit mittens and, and, yeah. and everything else. That. I, exactly. I, I agree. It's up in the echelon. It is. Um, now, you guys just you just finished shooting the last season three weeks ago, right? Yes. Um, and uh, FX is on for two more seasons. They already signed on. It's going to happen. <clears throat> That's a rumor. Uh, I heard from some reliable sources, but okay, that, uh, that, that we'll move on from there. Um, so uh, I guess the last thing is, is there anything uh, within this next season, certain words or certain things that are going to be the, I guess, the, the thesis, the, the catchphrases for this next season? Yes, uh, there, there definitely will be those things, but the funny thing about our show is I never know what those things are going to be. We always think we're doing something that is going to catch on and ends up it always ends up being something that we never even thought would catch on and that always ends up catching on so i'd be loath to tell you what those things are because it's always it's always picked by the fans you know i mean yeah it's rarely ever what we think it's going to be and that's kind of what's fun about it uh, so are you a uh, a person that people can follow on twitter on facebook on spotify on linkedin or blah blah blahs can the fans get a hold of you yeah, online absolutely what? i'm on twitter at glenn glenn underscore howerton we always ask because there's always 80 of you. Like you never know which one's the actual one. It could be you know kitty. Well, my, kitty mine something. has the you know the little blue check that that, oh. that lets everybody know that it's really me, and it is. All right. You know, I get people there. They're like, oh, do you have somebody, some PA from the show, like tweeting as you? No, it's me. It's me. And sometimes I reply to people, and that makes them very happy. Yes, it and it makes me happy. There, there are a couple things I'm really, really excited about. I think that our uh, our child beauty pageant episode is so fantastic. Uh, the great thing about that is everything I was shooting I, that I was involved with I thought was really funny, but I just saw the episode and all the stuff that I didn't see that just involved the guys and a little boy. <laughs> I was 
I was laughing so hard. I just watched it on the bus on the way down. And I was like, oh, my God. I don't know. I'm really excited about this season. Rob's been saying he's been, you know, coming home from the editing room and being like, this is our best season yet. And I was like, really? Because I, I really like the last few seasons. And he's right. They're really good. I think people will like them. Uh, to the point where you're, you know, a little dumbfounded. I remember the blooper online where Danny jumps out of the couch and you're like, hey, what? Oh, 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 oh. I'm never going to live that down. <laughs> Poor Danny. <laughs> There's so many. There were so many people standing around and I was just like, ah, oh. And then he just all of a sudden was like, Caitlin, Caitlin. And kind of in character, but saying my name, which was confusing. And I was like, what's he doing? What's he doing? It's your line. <laughs> it was my line. It was your life. It was, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Danny DeVito was naked in front of me, to be fair. I don't think that I can be blamed for this. It's, it is awesome. You would have done the it same is, thing. It is awe-inspiring. It was awesome. <laughs>